Hello, it's your friendly neighborhood host here, Tom from MagnaCAD, uh, venturing into something a little different today. Um, what I want to show you, what we're going to attempt today is uh, create this bent sheet metal bracket. Because um, I want to basically join these two, P two by fours together. All right, so we'll show you how that's done because I don't have this as a sheet metal part. All right, I want to show you how we convert to a sheet sheet metal part and then bend along some geometry. All right, so that's the goal of this video. So let's suppress this part. Nice thing is I'm working on a catalog. You can see I have a whole bunch of standard uh, brackets I've created, and here's one that's not. Stand, it's standard as a, meaning I can buy this online. If you see, it's just a general solid model, and I just recreated it based on if we open up the attachment, um, th this part here. Okay, these are nice, thin, general purpose kind of bracket. All right, they're flat metal. So the thing is, I want to. As I showed you before, I want to bend that part, but before I can bend it, I, it's easier. Actually, you should convert it to a, a sheet metal part because then you get the actual bend, the correct bends, as you see here, distortion and everything that's correctly done. All right, so to do that, we got to convert that solid part to a um, sheet metal part. It's a very pretty straightforward process you basically it's very simple you collect the part you go up to your sheet metal tab and you have a convert convert to sheet metal part option we won't use the solid part because this is basically just a flat piece it's not that intricate this will allow you some more advanced features to it this one is a real click process basically a one click process so let's use this one so with the part highlighted when I say convert it and it's gonna ask you for a face I'm just gonna pick a face what stock you want so I'm gonna change the stock I happen to know that piece is 40 thousandths thick and here's 40 aluminum so, okay and then we just say okay and it's now converted to a sheet metal part as you can see it didn't maintain the the uh, chamfer on the holes, but that, I'm not too concerned about that. I can always add that on if I want later on. So now what I want to do is I'm going to move this part, let's say 135, and I'm going to reset the tribal so I can rotate this up. I don't really have to rotate it. Let's just say escape. Oops. Undo. Sorry, took a little detail. Basically, we convert it to a sheet metal part. So what I want to do is I want to bend right through the holes here at a 45. So what I'm going to do is create a sketch, basically roughly right about there. Say OK. That's my drawing plane. And now I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. OK. So we have where we like it. And I'm just going to draw a line that's basically right across the part like that. And you can move it wherever you want if you want to measure it. But I'm just going to do this abstractly like this. Finish the drawing. And now I want to bend this up 90 degrees. So what we do is we go back to our sheet metal tool and so we use a sketch bend. I'm going to pick a face. All right. I'm going to pick the geometry I want to bend about. Then the fixed geometry, it doesn't really matter for this case, but I'll pick this side rather this so other than this side of the line. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to bend around the center, smooth, inside or out? I usually just stick to the, the defaults here, 90 degrees. Yes, let's use the minimum bend radius. And you can pick bend lines if you want, right? And uh, we just say OK. And there you we have our bent part here sketch bend and it's simple as that all right and now I can position this as I as I need 
right? If you're using the try ball, snap to here, I'm gonna move this here, and then I'm gonna make another copy on the other side of this piece. Actually a linked copy. And that's how I want to bolt this two by four down. Alright, so you don't really need this geometry. It's good to keep it there, but and suppress it. And there you have a bent bracket. Alright, I hope you found this insightful. Remember you have a these two tools here are very powerful. Feel free to dig in and play around with some of the settings and see what the results you get. Alright? Have a great day.